I am Steve Wozniak. I am one of the founders of Apple Computer. In the early days of Apple, I had actually sat down and designed for myself a computer that I could use and have and own, and I loved it, and a friend came by and he saw it and said, hey, maybe we should start a company, and we wound up selling them, and that was Apple Computer. Device after device after device, I was one of those little builders with soldering wires together and making interesting products, and the Apple II computer that really made Apple big and successful was the sixth time that I had created something just for fun and Steve Jobs said let's turn it into money. So when he suggested forming a company, the two of us were already technology friends. We had already you know, been down that avenue enough times. Who could turn that down? Believe in yourself. Don't believe that all the answers are in a book. You're a lot smarter if you can sit down and say, here is how people hook things up. It's been shown to me on paper. But wait a minute, I can think of a different way of doing this. Maybe I can think of, here's a program that solves a problem that I'm after. And I can copy that method. But you know what? My problem, every problem has its own little special situation. It's, a, it's an independent problem. It has don't care situations. Maybe I can rewrite the program a lot shorter or a lot faster if I take something into account. I can make my own trade-off. Now you've become an inventor. You did not copy stuff you were taught. You totally invented out of the blue. And you have to believe in yourself to do that. Also, when you're working on projects just for fun, don't care that people say, hey, this isn't worth anything. Who's going to want this? Well, maybe you're just doing it for fun so you can show people that you can do it. That's very worthy. Your projects of your life will always start out very tiny. I look back to the first programs I ever wrote, and then over and over, they'll get a little better each time. They build on each other the way mathematics builds up from you know addition all the way up eventually to calculus and beyond. So believe in yourself, and especially when people say, hey, you know, this idea of yours isn't, isn't really going to work. You aren't going to be able to do it by that method. It's impossible. Well, take it as a challenge. Somebody threw down the gauntlet, go find the way to prove them wrong. <laughs> you know, and believe in yourself. Also remember that when you're young, you're going to have a lot of free time. You're going to have the, the greatest intellectual energy and physical energy of your life. You can work late, late nights, night after night after night. So don't throw your life away just spoiling it all, you know, when you're done home from school or something like that. You know, if you have some talents you're starting with, try to extend them as far as you can. The internet doesn't stop you from learning. You don't have to be in a course to learn it. You don't have to go at a certain speed of a course. You can go as fast as you want to and learn as much as you want to now. And hey, believe in yourself, you know? Look at examples like, like all these companies like Apple and tons, thousands of tech companies that are doing great things and you can be one of them. Plan B. На сайте rbk.ru.